In this video, I'm going to briefly demonstrate how to use um, SPSS Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explorer to explore the descriptive statistics in a data set. So in this data set, we have an ID, a variable. We have a variable for gender, a variable for age, a variable for wealth, a variable for self-assessed health, and a variable for satisfaction with life. If we go to Analyze Descriptives Explorer, we can, under the dependent list, we might enter in any continuous variables that we want to um, investigate the descriptive statistics for. So let's enter in just to self-assessed health and satisfaction with life. Now there are various options. We're going to mostly stick with the defaults for this brief tutorial. But under plots, we'll ask for a histogram so we can get an idea of the distribution of these two variables. So we click OK and we get an output file. The first table in the output file will give you an idea of the amount of missing data you have for each variable. Um, in this data set there's no missing data but in, in real data sets you're likely to see um, that you have some missing data. Um, in the next table is where we have the um, descriptive statistics that that we were looking to explore and these uh, include the mean, which is the average, and the standard error, which is the amount of, of difference we might expect um, between um, the mean and its its um, the mean the sample mean and its population parameter. Uh, the 95% confidence interval gives us an idea of the range within which we expect the population mean to fall given our sample mean. The 5% trimmed mean uh, gives us the the mean after we if we were to cut out the top 5% and the bottom 5% of the distribution uh, that might be um, a better estimate of central tendency in a case where we have a lot of outliers in this case it's, it's reasonably similar to the overall mean we have the variance which is um, basically the average squared deviation of each score from the mean and then we have the standard deviation which tells us um, basically how much variability we expect around the mean. Uh, so our mean is 3 point roughly 4 and our standard deviation is roughly 2. Also gives us the minimum and the maximum score um, in the range which is the difference between the minimum and the maximum score. The interquartile range tells us the difference between the 75th percentile rank and the 25th percentile rank in the data. And then finally it gives us some statistics on skewness and kurtosis uh, but uh, for now we're, we'll, we'll ignore those and we'll, we'll visually inspect the histogram to get an idea of the distribution. We also have the same statistics for the other continuous variable that we entered in the dependent list box. So whatever continuous variables you enter in the dependent list box, it will give you these descriptive st statistics separately by, um, obviously, by the variable. All right, so here we have a histogram for self-assessed health. So it looks like uh, the majority of the scores are bunched roughly between, let's say, like one-ish and, and four-ish, right? Uh, so we have a, a, a skewed distribution here, uh, very likely a um, positively skewed distribution for self-assessed health. Um, we also have a histogram uh, for self-assessed, I mean, not a histogram, a stem and leaf plot, rather, for self-assessed health which gives us another idea of the distribution. We can see again that it is a bit uh, positively skewed. And then we also have a box and whisker plot, which gives us an idea of um, where the median is, which is around 4, and the 75th and 25th percentile ranks um, in the data. Uh, if there were any extreme scores present in the data, they might show up as a um, circle, or if it's a very extreme score, as an asterisk in the um, box and whisker plot. And we have the same um, plots or, or graphs for uh, satisfaction with life. We have a histogram. It's kind of got a funky shape to it. Um, it peaks around 20. And then we have our stem and leaf plot, which gives us an idea of where most of the cases are falling, which again we see are around the 10 to 20 range. And then finally we have a box and whisker plot for self
uh, satisfaction with life, we can get an idea of the median and the interquartile range. And there don't appear to be any extreme scores present in this small data set. So if, um, if you wanted to, let's say, break down your um, descriptive statistics by a condition or by a categorical variable. So let's say you wanted to break it down by gender or by some experimental manipulation. Um, in Explore, you could simply enter in the variable that you want to analyze your descriptive separately by into the factor list box. So we could enter in, let's say, in, in this data set we have one categorical variable, gender. We could enter that into the factor list box and if we run the, um, the, the, the computations we'll see that now we have the, the output separately by gender. So we have self-assessed health for males we have the mean is 3.704 and then we have for females the mean is 4.25 right so it will give us all the, the the statistics from from the explore function but it will give it to us separately by gender and it will also give us the graphs that we asked for separately by gender so if you need to analyze uh, descriptives or explore st st descriptive statistics separately uh, by gender, um, then or or by any categorical variable, entering it into the factor list um, will help you out. So we see here when we split self-assessed health up by gender, we see that the medians appear to be roughly the same of the two distributions, but the um, the difference between the 75th and 25th percentile among females is quite large compared to that difference among males and then also among males we seem to have um, one potential outlier or extreme score in case uh, 44 so if these were real data we'd want to inspect that case more carefully to make sure that it is in fact a plausible value or a member of our population of interest uh, for, for the research study we're engaged in and then finally we'll get the histograms separately histograms for um, each variable separately um, by gender. All right, so that's how you use um, Analyze Descriptive Statistics Explorer to um, basically explore the basic descriptive statistics in your data set, which is really a good first step in, in any data analysis is to take a careful look at your distributions, take a careful look at um, the potential for any outliers um, and you may spot things in your data that, that you would have missed if you'd gone straight to your hypothesis tests.